Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2. I am Nerdstalgic, and we are currently playing as the Petty King, Oswald the Hunter, age 62, who is betrothed to a 14-year-old. How lecherous. What a lecher. But he has a lot of good uh, good traits. Look at all these good traits he has. The only thing he has that's bad is Craven. Other than that, he's doing pretty well. Alright, so let's uh, speed this thing back up a little bit. I say speed it back up. We've got it on speed 5. You can tell it's going pretty slow. And the whole reason it's going slow, for those of you who uh, maybe have not watched the previous episodes on YouTube or are not watching right now on Twitch, is because I am streaming this on Twitch as I record it, which is causing my CPU to say, uh, you suck. <laughs> my CPU is having some issues. I have like an i5. Uh, can't remember the numbers on it. It's like so. It's like it's a pre, it's a good processor for an i5, but it's older. So yeah, that's the problem. I think I could overclock it, but I'm kind of scared. I'm scared. I've overclocked things before. Sometimes successful. Sometimes not so successful. He says, I am pretty great after all, so we're going to lose this trait, Humble, which kind of stinks. Uh, of course, we will organize the Miracle Play. So once we get up to about 500 gold, we will probably build something here in Devon. Probably another, uh, probably another city town. Castle town, yeah. Still waiting on a claim. We've moved over here because this guy has really low intrigue. And for some reason I have it in my head that, that the intrigue actually does affect your chances of fabricating a claim. I could be completely off base. If anybody knows to the contrary, just feel free to uh, either let me know in the Twitch chat or let me know in the comments below the video when it gets released. So we're at 500 gold. Let's go ahead and spend some of that. Let's invest in infrastructure. So we'll go Castle Town. So what? Are we, how much gold are we making right now? Four. We're making four gold a month, which is pretty pretty good for only having two counties, really. Okay, who is this? Interesting. All right, we'll give you. Why don't we give you a thrift? Give you a thrift education. So it looks like you get more control over a wider variety of children now. It's like every child you get to pick their focus instead of just picking like your your family's children's focuses which is interesting i i still think that paradox is going to have to come in here and it's going to have to tweak some things i think unless i'm missing some things because i have seen some things that are kind of i'm kind of like really like when i was playing as a viking the other day it just some of the stuff i was it just didn't make a whole lot of sense I think it has become a lot harder to uh, play as a Viking. Used to, you know, you could blob like really hard as a Viking, but the downside was it was a lot harder to keep your kingdom together. Well, they've tried to take steps to make it easier to keep your kingdom together as a Viking. Uh, well, she's pretty, she's decent. However, uh, thing is, is that uh, it's just harder to be a Viking now. I did not have as much fun with it. Then again, I didn't play it until we got boats. I think I stopped right when we got boats. Which, that's really when it becomes fun to be a Viking. It's not really that much fun to be a Viking before boats come along. Because then you're just kind of broke all the time. I mean, sure, you can you can roam around. And who is this? Oh, I see why you want to marry her. Oh, she's betrothed. What? Oh, what? She was already betrothed? Okay. I didn't realize that. I guess she maybe came to our court afterwards. After her betrothal. That's kind of strange. <gasps> we saw the we saw the white stag, guys. We saw it. We came close. We almost bagged it. Okay, Castle Town is done, so what are we up to now? 4.2? 4.2 4 
4.2, yeah, not too bad. I think some people probably would advocate spending more on facilities that give military before money, but to me, I would rather roll it into the money first and then work on the military facilities. I think our chancellor is just useless. I mean, granted, that's not a very, very big score. 10 is pretty bad. I wish we had somebody better. We do have somebody better. This guy who's 70 years old. Maybe he can get the job done. Hmm. Where could we move you? Uh, you'd be a pretty good chaplain. This is our son. We may outlive him. All right, we're going to move you to chaplain and then we're going to uh, we're actually gonna fire my son <laughs> off the council just completely sorry bro sorry sorry not sorry we gotta make some things happen oh well we need to get the chaplain back running okay this looks like broccoli. This is broccoli, I think. So he's hoss, haughty and fussy. Haughty and fussy. Fussy is good for intrigue. Haughty is good for... What is haughty good for? It's not good for anything. It's just bad for... Uh, bad for this. Let's give him a martial education. Seems like haughty, haughty and fussy would be good for that. Seems like. At least that's what I'm thinking. I feel like to get a claim, I'm going to have to like get a live chicken and sacrifice it behind my house or something because we've been we've been playing this game now for quite a while and we have not we have yet to fabricate a claim so we've just been sitting here just like staring at each other okay let's take town infrastructure i think that'll boost up our money a little bit more even hopefully i mean it should boost up our city tax right I guess not. Maybe we should have put it into castle infrastructure. Maybe, just maybe, our mayors dislike us so much that they're not paying us enough. Could we... We've already got this shifted. This would shift it up another 5%, but, but we would lose. We would lose more levy there. Hmm. This is something I'm going to have to think more about. You know, I had the old system kind of down the way I liked it, and now I'm having to re. I'm having to wrap my mind around everything that's new with Conclave. So, trying to figure everything out. It's, it's it's a new wrinkle that you can't, like, have both. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. Holy crap, we actually got a claim to fabricate. It was the chicken comment. The game knew that I meant business. So, boom. Yeah, we're definitely going to fabricate this claim. So, we have a strong claim on this county here. So, we want to go ahead and get... What are you... What are you de jure a part of? Jure Kent. <coughs> Alright, so which one of these has the lowest intrigue? Oh man, they're both really bad. Which one of you has the least amount of troops? This guy. Alright, we'll try to fabricate on you. And then what about you? Do you have any allies? You must be in a... 
Yes, you're you're a part of a coalition. That's why you've got all these all these things here going on. But you have a bunch of non-aggression packs, but no alliances. So that means nobody's going to come into the war on your side. I mean, we we prob well no we I don't know we might be able to win without using mercs, but I think we're probably going to need to go ahead and call up some mercs here just to make sure that we can get this done pretty quickly. I mean, she has 427 levies. We have about 820, so it's about double. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we could try to try to make it happen without the mercs, and then if we see that we need the mercs, we just call the mercs up. So let's declare war. Finally, 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 we get to do something. All right, we'll move them to Devon. Okay, and then we're gonna make sure that our commanders are in good shape. So who do we got here? Well, do we have anybody that has any kind of traits? Not really. <laughs> Not really. But that's okay. Pursuit. Hmm. We're going to put you in there. We're going to have you here and you here. I'm not going to lead anything. Because I don't want to die just yet. Alright, we're going to take it down to speed 3. And we're going to march. Oh, we got people that need education. Let's give you a struggle. And you picked up affectionate, which is good for diplomacy. So we'll go do diplomatic. So what I'm hoping here, basically, is that we, we dodge the army. Our armies dodge each other, other which looks like it's going to happen. So we're going to head over towards Wessex. We don't want to catch their army. We're going to come here. We're going to siege this all the way out, right? And then we're going to double back and we'll fight. Now, she may be able to siege some of our stuff too. However, uh, we should be able to... Um, it won't be a big deal. Once we get over there, once we siege everything out here and then come back over here and wipe her army, it won't be a big deal. Now, if we fought first, that would be an option, and then she couldn't siege anything. The thing about it is it's kind of a risk because then you might not have enough troops left to actually siege her holdings down, especially the second layer. <laughs> Look how fast it's going on speed five. It's terrible. It's terrible. But the way it is right now, we've got 830 odd, you know, 800 soldiers. We should have enough to siege down the second level holdings, whereas she may not. So we could make her charitable, or we could make her content. Um, let's make her charitable. Oh, she became content anyways. So that's an event that basically what you can do is you can try to force them to take one of your traits instead of the trait that they're they're going to have. So this guy's ugly, huh? Playful and conscientious. He's leaning this way. We'll go that way. Okay, so our first siege is about to end, and we're just going to stay here unless we can't siege down the next level holding, which we can. So we're going to siege this down all the way. Looks like looks like we're going to have to siege down three holdings, but she's already 86%. We probably could just go over there and, and attack her, but eh, not a big deal. Oh, the white stag, huh? We might get to 100%. See, she can't even siege down our second level holding. So she might go here to Cornwall and try to siege down the first level holding there. 
So she's dead in the water right now. Oh god, we went in firm. Let's try to get this thing finished before we die. If we die, I'm not sure if that would render the cast of spell the invalid. I hope it wouldn't. Okay, we're at 99%. Would you take peace? You would not. Okay, let's just... We should be able to siege this third level holding down pretty fast. I mean, fast is a relative term right now. I think we're just doing a bit much. Just a bit, just a bit much with the processor, but I guess lesson learned here. If I'm going to be recording and twitching at the same time, I'm absolutely going to have to um, invest in my processor. All right, so we siege this all the way out, and we we went down to 84. percent So we're gonna have to go over there, and we're gonna have to uh, to fight her. Oh, peace. There we go. So we won, yay, yay, we won. What? No, I don't think we're gonna be losing that. Yeah, that's, that's a mistake, that'll go away. Right? Okay. Let's say right, won't it go away? Yay, so we finally grew up our, uh, our holdings a little bit. Now, it's not showing that we have any more levies because uh, it's we have to replenish the garrison before we can actually start getting levies from over there. Ooh, she's strong. Curious, idolizer, affectionate. Hmm. She is like absolutely tailor made for diplomatic education since she has curious and affectionate. So, how are we looking on time for this episode? I completely forgot the timer again. My goodness. I think we have a little bit more time to go on this episode. So we'll keep playing. So now our goal is going to be to take one of these so that we can um, we can either make this we can make this petty kingdom here. Actually I think he already has it. Yeah. So we would need to usurp it. Which means once we take over another county we can usurp that and then we'll have a de jure claim on Sussex which is not really how I envisioned this series going I didn't envision us taking the two tips down here and then working our way back in but hey whatever works works so I'm fine with that oh we probably we picked up uh, a new mayor that probably wants a position yeah this guy I don't really think he's good enough. Yeah, you're not good enough either. It's the thing, all you guys think that you should be on the council, but you're just you're just not good enough. So I don't think it's that big of a deal when you're this small to not put people on the council. But uh, when you get bigger, you have to. You have to put people on the council or they're going to they're going to make a huge headache for you with factions. Wow, oh my god, it's like raining claims. Hallelujah, it's raining claims. Okay, so we are definitely going to use this. It's going to cost us 35 gold. We'll lose 100 more prestige. Can we move you? Where should we move you to? Probably back to here. Um, so let's put you back in Somerset. How many troops do you have? 660. You're a dwarf. Do you have any? You do not. You have 660 troops. We have six, about 580 right now. So we're going to need... Yeah, we're definitely going to need to hire mercs for this one. But we want to do this now because if he dies, we lose this claim. It can't be inherited unless it was pressed in war. So we want to do this now. Sooner rather than later. Okay. Let's do this then. So let's declare war on you. We want to claim Kent. And then we want to raise our levies. We're also going to hire a mercenary company. Just a cheap one. Doesn't matter. We want to pick the cheapest one that's the cheap cheapest per month. So we'll go with the Saxon Band. 
And uh, that should be plenty of troops to get the job done. And then what we'll probably do is we, we probably will smash those guys on the way over. Maybe? Yeah, probably. We probably will smash them on the way over since they're sieging our stuff. And uh, then they may not have enough troops left to even siege anything, so. Yeah, he's going to Kent. Let's wait till the 28th and then we'll go to Kent as well. I'm going to slow it down to speed 3 just so we hit this date. There we go. Is he going to make it out? He is. No, he's not going to make it out. Okay. We are going to get a fight here. Okay. Even ground should be. Oh, just absolute bloodbath. Okay, what's this? Technological. Ah, okay. So culture. We'll take legalism too. Who is this that can get married? Oh. She turned out pretty well. Yeah, she turned out real well. Okay, so he still has 510 troops. He's going to shatter to retreat for a while. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to shatter retreat. We're already they're already married, you dingus. And uh, then he'll probably come over here and try to siege. But by that time we'll have already sieged a bunch of stuff out, so not a big deal. Let's go up to speed 5. Now things are finally starting to roll. See, I told you guys if we just got one thing fabricated, we would start making some headway. Oh, he's going to come back and uh, siege Saray, which is even better even better so what we could do here since he's just right next door is uh, get down this first level holding then come over here and, and thump him send him running again and uh, then come back and siege so what happened to Drogon? Drogon died so we need a spy master this guy's pretty good we'll go with you Arispo and let's have you study technology where else but in Constantinople. I hope you don't come back blind. But there's a real chance you will. So we're going to finish up. We'll finish up this war and then we'll go ahead and we will uh, call this video to a close. And then we will... Uh-oh. Vikings got their boats. Okay, siege is about to end. Right? Right? Right, okay. And then we're just going to come back over here and swat him. Yeah, I, I like Vikings, but I'm not so sure I, I like them as much with the, uh, the normal, with the changes that they've made with Conclave. But it could just be that it's it just requires me to change my mindset about how I play Vikings. Used to, I had a ton of fun playing Vikings. Ton of fun. But now, uh, when I started one the other day, I just... It just was not as fun. You know, the whole thing about having councils and things like that, it's really neat. But... With the Vikings, I'm just like, you know, I'm a, I'm the Viking, I'm the head Viking. I shouldn't have to be asking a council if I'm going to attack something. It should just be like, you're the man. Do it. So. Um, you know, we're, we're over our domain limit here, but I'm not going to give anything away because 
the main reason why we're over it is because we're infirm. Yeah. I'm thinking, why don't we change our focus? Because it doesn't matter if he dies, we'll go rulership. That should give us enough to cover that. And we can make this Duchy of Kent. Which costs us 176 gold, will give us 200 prestige. You know what? I'm going to hold off on that. Here's why. I'm going to hold off on that because uh, I can wait till he dies and then form it with this guy and give him an instant... Oh my god, he's possessed. When did this happen? Oh my gosh. Game, you're killing me. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to pick this guy to be my successor and then he's possessed. Yeah, yeah, Obito. Well, I mean, it just depends. Like, um, for, it, you know, like for certain, how can I put this? It matters a lot less to certain uh, types of governments. Like, if you're tribal, the negative prestige from marriage matters quite a bit. If you are feudal, it's a little bit less. However, later in the game, it can be more. More so, um, can, be, can be a bigger problem. So, let me, uh, let me end this YouTube video, Obito, and I'll give you a, a better explanation off, uh, off, the, off the video, but on Twitch. So, anyways, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, Thank you guys so, so much for uh, supporting this content, this video. Uh, if you would like to join in and be able to see this stuff as I record it while I'm, I'm broadcasting it on Twitch, feel free to uh, look down below the video. You can find the information down there for my Twitch page. I would love to see some of you guys in chat. I would love to talk to you guys in real time and have you guys comment and give me suggestions in real time too. So, Thank you guys so, so much, and until next time, game on.